Now to a story we shared only one part of weeks ago. Long lost siblings finding one other, another thanks to technology. Sydney Bouchelle found a family with an amazing story. She joins us now. Sydney, how did they find each other? Hi Hannah, well their reunion is all thanks to Ancestry.com. Four siblings who really had no idea one another existed, now they're making up for the time they have not been able to spend together. There's a whole sort of a dark hole that never gets filled until now. Four people all connected, two of them living separately for most of their lives, until now. I had the first contact, okay. yeah, from her friend Shelly, um, said, I think you have a sister out there. And I was like, what? Well, let's do it. Siblings reunited, or more like introduced, after using Ancestry.com and a DNA test kit. Brother and sister Jack and Kay Mathis were raised under the same roof, living in Wilmington and never knowing their family tree was bigger than they realized, with two older siblings, Jay Bernie and Terry Russo Alessi, both given up for adoption at birth. Since that we had no idea we had a brother or sister. So we woke up one day and found out we got I've got an older brother and an older sister. And I'm no longer the big brother, I'm the, I'm the little brother. Yeah, so, yeah. Little so it's been different, yeah. He got both. But it's fun. <laughs> yeah. Jay, the older brother they never knew they had, the lived in their city for their entire lives. But they've been in Wilmington my entire life, so I could have I could have sat as close as this in a restaurant or at the stoplight and didn't even know it. Terry ended up in Georgia. Growing up with older parents and no siblings, much like Jay, she felt alone until finding her siblings. My life was whole. You know, the, the final puzzle piece had been, you know, placed in the puzzle. Her children were out of the house and she lived alone. So she made the big move up the coast to Wilmington to be with her family. After being separated for their entire lives, they aren't wasting any time making memories with one another. One of Terry's favorite memories, a bike ride with Jack. That's when I really felt like everything was complete. Like, you know, all the things I didn't get to do as a child with siblings, I'm getting to do now. And when I told him, I said that one um, moment I'll always cherish was that bike ride with my brother. And, um, and then so then he went out and got a bike. And so now we're going to have a multitude of bike rides yeah, and yeah. we're going to get all the Maybe siblings we get these guys and, on bikes and all go on bike yeah. rides together. Not only did they gain one another, they gained nieces and nephews, their kids scanning cousins, some closer than they thought. I called Jack, we started a dialogue, and he said, well, are you in the relationship to marry Margaret Bernie? And I said, well, yes, that's my um, one of my children. He said, well, do you know your daughter and my daughter are living in a house going to UNCW together? Four people connecting the branches of a broken family tree. I just want to thank God that he put this together. Yeah. Very blessed. Because I feel like it came from upstairs. It really is never too late. Isn't that so awesome? Well, unfortunately, their mother did die before Jay and Terry could meet her, but they do have some living aunts. They are arranging a time to visit with soon.